Okay, so here's factoring techniques part one. <clears throat> Start with this polynomial here, 81x to the fourth minus 16. Uh, it kind of looks like a mess. What I'm wondering is, can you imagine this looking like difference of squares? And to be able to see that, you're going to have to do a rewrite here. So let's try that. Let's rewrite this equation. It has to be equivalent form, of course. But let's try to rewrite this. And isn't it true that this piece right here is the same as 9x squared squared minus 4 squared? Let's see if this is not true. Well, let's prove that. Let's prove that it is true. This is the same as 9x squared times 9x squared. So 9x squared times whoops, times 9x squared is 81x squared. Whoop, no, it's not. This times this is 81x to the fourth. So 81x to the fourth. Sorry about that. So 81x to the fourth. So this is the same, isn't it? And isn't it true that 4 squared is 16, that this negative sign is this one? So here we are. We take this thing that has these kind of quadratic tendencies, and we're going to use... We're going to use a strategy that is one that we might not usually use. So here we see this. Of course, now we're going to try to use some strategy here that we're going to build a list. We're going to try to identify some things. So remember, we have this thing. Let's say A is equal to 9x squared. B is equal to 4, isn't it? Remember that what we believe is true is, that, is, is if we have a squared minus b squared, that we believe that we can factor that out, a minus b times a plus b. <clears throat> We've worked on this a lot. I think this that we're confident that this is true, so we don't have to assume this. We, we've proven this many, many times. So all we're going to do is rebuild this thing, and we're going to say a is 9x squared. So we have 9x squared minus 4 times 9x squared plus 4. And if we FOIL this out, if we FOIL this out, we have, this is good proof. If we FOIL this, we get this times this, 9x squared times 9x squared is 81x to the fourth. 9x times this gives us 36x squared. This gives us negative 36x squared. They cancel out. And negative 4 times positive 4 is negative 16. So we have this completely factored. Please, please, please remember, these are factors, not solutions. Solutions come later, and we're going to work on that, but let's, let's master this first. So these are factors, not solutions. Uh, to find the solutions, we'd set this equal to 0, and we'd solve each piece. So we're going to talk about that a little later, okay? Good work. Let's try one more. Let's try one more. Uh, and let's try this one, if you don't mind. This one is a mess. I think it's 4x to the 6th minus 20 x to the fourth, my gosh, to the fourth, plus 24x squared. Well, that's a lot, isn't it? And remember, we're going to try to factor this. So we're going to try to factor this out. So factor. First thing I'm going to do, just my algorithm, the first thing I want to look at is I want to ask myself, what's the greatest common factor here? And remember, when we're looking for greatest common factor, we want the greatest common factor of the numbers. And then of the variables, and when we, when we take it of the variables, we're going to look for the variable, and what's the number that they have, the smallest number that they have in common. So I think what we can factor out here, the greatest common factor of 4, 20, and 24 is 4, I believe, isn't it? And of course, of x to the 6, x to the 4th, and x squared is x squared. Are you buying that? And then we have to <coughs> put this back together. So we put this back together, x squared times what is? 4x to the 6th, and that would be x to the 4th, wouldn't it? So there's x to the 4th. This would be 5x squared, and of course this would be positive 6. If you're wondering how I'm doing this, all I'm saying, suggesting to you is this, and I'm not going to check this with you, but check it. See if we multiply this times that, this times that, and this times that, if we don't get these pieces back. And if we do, then we've factored then we've factored out correctly, okay? All right, so let's keep working here. So we have one factor here 
Now can we factor this? And again, we have this fourth power here. And I'm going to see, I, I believe that we can make this work. So I'm going to look at this and say, okay, well, what number times itself give, gives us, I'm sorry, what number times another number gives us x to the fourth? And we want something simple. So let's take x squared here and x squared here. Remember, this is FOIL, so this times this has to equal that, and it does. Now we want two numbers. When we multiply the two numbers, we get positive 6. But when we add the same two numbers, we get negative 5. And those numbers are, wait, waiting, 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 All right, negative 2 and negative, oops, and I was going to say negative 6, but that's not true, and negative 3, right? So now this is a kind of thing that we might mess up. What are the factors of this? Right, we were supposed to factor this thing out. What are the factors? Okay, good. So we're going to bring this down. This is one of the factors. We can't forget we had this. So 4x squared is a factor. x squared minus 2 is a factor. And x squared minus 3 is also a factor. Remember, these are factors, not solutions. Factors, not solutions. So again, what do we do here? We started off. We looked for the greatest common factor. We factored that out. Took a look at this. Realized we have this kind of quadratic tendency here so is there something that we could do so I looked at this as if it was a quadratic and then factored it and got this here are our three factors factors one one two and three um, remember these are factors not solutions so these are factors factors okay um, I'm gonna make another video to go with this but I thought we'd start with this so let's call this part one